Hi, I'm Simon. I'm a director of ABC Taxis and thank you for showing an interest in our business. ABC Taxis has been established for over 20 years. We've got over 120 drivers and we're doing over 12,000 journeys per week. We started as a small local taxi company and we've grown into the largest taxi operator in Norwich. Our vision is to provide the most professional taxi service in Norwich, delivering an excellent customer service experience. Our growth has been established by everyone working as a team, so that each passenger that comes into our vehicles expects the high standard of customer service from each driver, whether they started last week or they've been established with us for much longer. We are proud that in recent years we have won a number of environmental awards. ABC has always been proactive in the community. We support uh, various charities, particularly Nelson's Journey. We also support Future Radio. We support help with the Theatre Royal. One thing we're really proud of is being able to grow the business by using teamwork to deliver a consistent customer service experience. Well, the drivers are all self-employed. The fares are paid direct to the driver and the driver then pays a weekly commission to ABC Taxis. Well, I joined the company because I heard a lot of very good things about them. Uh, it's a very, very well run company and uh, I want a little bit of security for later on in, uh, in life. Oh, I thoroughly enjoy being a taxi driver. It's, uh, it's something I choose to do. I like to drive, I like to, I like to talk to people. Just find the day goes very well. I'm thoroughly, thoroughly happy with, uh, with working here at ABC. It's a firm with a, with a good future. It's getting bigger all the time and I think it's going to be long-term security for myself. And uh, I, I just enjoyed the job and I think I'm going to be here for a long while. As a customer, I really like using ABC taxis for several reasons. Reliability, the friendliness of the drivers, the cheapness of the fare, and the speed at which you reach your destination. I don't know how the drivers do it, but they always find their way in any, any kind of traffic jam, but they always find their way in the best route. And also the cars are clean, and you have a feeling of, uh, that is, the drivers welcome you. You're not just getting into a taxi just for the sake of you know, driving you and driving a, a taxi. As a driver, the ABC way is great because everybody's passionate about delivering uh, an excellent customer service, including the bosses as well. Uh, I work evenings and uh, although the hours are flexible, um, I generally work about 50 hours a week. Uh, the best thing about working for a company like ABC, I think, is because it's regarded as the biggest and best taxi firm in Norwich. Well, the thing with ABC is actually all the drivers and all the management, everyone's self-motivated and really committed to what we do. Well, most of our work is local, actually. By being a bus driver, I do go to long runs at least twice a month. I joined ABC Taxis because I think this is the best company in the city, and they are obviously going places as a company in a whole. Well, it impacts on my life because we have to work as a team, or that doesn't work at all. The ABC way is the only way. If I ever have a problem at ABC, there's always someone through the management that is on site to resolve that problem straight away. As a customer, I like using ABC Taxis because I find the service much more efficient and it arrives much more faster than any other taxis. Literally, the number itself, 666333, is very, it's very easy to remember, so you don't really have much problems with that. And at the same time, you know when it's going to come, so there's no problems with waiting for it. You know when it's going to come. You can always rely on the price. It's so much better as an all-rounder, especially when going on to social events or perhaps a night out or anything like that. It's so much better, so much more efficient, and yet I think one of the best brands available. From my point of view, the uh, ABC way of running is absolutely perfect. I've worked for two other companies in Norwich, um, up until recently and these knock spots off everything. Their very, very positive can-do approach towards things is uh, clear to see for everybody and from a personal point of view they're always there to help, the management especially. In a typical week for ABC I normally work around 55 hours which consists of five days, uh, four days during the week 
and one day at the weekend. And that's my normal working week. Most of my work at ABC, uh, since I've been there just over a year now, consists of mainly local work in and around Norwich and the county. Occasionally we're off to Stansted Airport. Um, not so long ago, within the last sort of few weeks ago, I was called very urgently to Halston in Norfolk with a heavily pregnant lady who very nearly gave birth uh, to a first child in the car. But uh, we managed the hospital just in time. As a driver, ABC impacts my life in a great way. Great company to work for, very flexible, great at accepting new ideas, and great bosses to work for. Well, as a driver working for ABC, they did great pre-training, uh, great support and great coaching as well. And whenever any difficulties come up, uh, be it just that it's something new, something different, they're there to support you and they really, really are a good company. As a member of the control room team, I like the ABC way um, because we all show respect for each other, their business and the customers. There's always a positive vibe around the, around the office. We're all focusing on team working, all supporting each other and all working towards the same thing. I think the benefits of being a driver at ABC is the fact that it's probably the largest company in the city. It's been running for a very long period of time and we've got a very good regular customer base um, and that gives you a good sense of friendship and regularity. I think the main support was the initial team training. I was taught the different scenarios that I might come up against during my driving career, um, how to overcome such scenarios and how to use the rest of the team to help me through if I needed such support. I work at Roxy 50, 55 hours a week um, over five nights. I normally start about quarter to five, midweek finish about 2.30 to three o'clock and weekends tend to be around 4.30, five o'clock. We take safety very seriously at ABC Taxis. Every car's tracked so we know exactly where each car is. We're rolling out car CCTV in all vehicles. It's company policy that no one should pick up any customer who they feel could be a threat to them. With car central locking, um, you feel that much safer in your car because you have the choice if you let them in or not. Um, during my training, I spoke to Dave Hall and I said to him, how about if I don't feel comfortable picking up a customer that perhaps another driver would feel happy with? And Dave actually said to me, no, he said, if you don't feel comfortable with them, we don't want them. And I think that's a really positive attitude. The company really, really do back the drivers. Each car has an emergency button to alert the control room if there's a problem. I had to press the emergency button once because I found a female cyclist at the top of Ketts Hill unconscious with her bike on top of her. Uh, my passenger and I got out to help, obviously. And as I got out, I pressed the emergency button and um, I just needed the police to be called. So uh, I sorted the scene out with my passenger. We got the traffic stopped. People arrived on scene who could also help. And I phoned base to tell them um, that I was OK, but I, what exactly what had happened. And uh, I found out that there were two minutes had passed and there were four ABC taxis within one minute of where I was because of the cars being tracked and because of the response of the control room. And it just helps you feel safe. We're a, a big team and we all work together to make sure everybody feels safe. When I'm recruiting a new driver, I'm actually looking for someone who has excellent customer care skills. They have to have a smart personal appearance and uh, good timekeeping skills. We also look for people who like driving, love to meet people and have a positive can-do approach. In terms of the recruitment process, the license fees will cost a few hundred pounds. A car will also be provided at the time of license. And also the, for the insurance purposes, the driver must be between the ages of 25 and 65. Yeah, all new drivers uh, who join ABC, we ask them to provide us with a portfolio. We class the portfolio as being the, uh, the toolbox of the, of the trade. In their portfolio, they will have a full list of pubs, clubs, schools, restaurants, community centres, golf clubs, churches. Uh, they'll have a, a map, a personal map that they have made themselves of the, the University of Norwich, East Anglia. Uh, they have a, a map of the um, Norfolk and Norwich Hospital. They'll also, we also ask them to have, um, make a, a map of new bills because new bills housing estates aren't actually on SatNav so they, can't, they won't be able to locate addresses on the SatNav or in a, an a Norwich A to Z. 
So um, it is an, an essential part of their trade and uh, we do ask them to provide that before they start, which I and uh, David actually check to make sure they've got everything that they need to be a, a successful taxi driver. After a driver has been here a while, we have group meetings which we class as driver's quality checklist. We talk about um, reliability, we talk about personal presentation, we talk about onboard sociability with the customer. We also like to talk about how we as a whole can um, improve on the performance of the company in relation to the driver. So we like to think of ourselves as working together. It's a quite important part of the job where I feel as though drivers need to be able to connect with you know, the, the structure of the management so that they feel as though we're working as a team. Hello, I'm Dave Hall. I'm one of the directors of ABC Taxis. I'm going to just take you through the process of how you become a Norwich City licensed taxi driver. The very first thing you have to do is to get a Norwich City Council pack from the City Hall. This will contain, this will contain forms or details of the forms you need to complete in order to become a taxi driver. We usually keep the supply of these forms at head office or you can visit the Norwich City Council website to get the forms directly from them. Once you have completed the forms and you have all the information, then please come into the ABC office so we can make sure all the details are accurate before you take them to Norwich City Council. The longest part of the process is usually the, dis the disclosure and barring service check form, previously the CRB. You need to take your DBS form with your photographs, driving license, application form and payment to Norwich City Council. You need to make an appointment to do this. You need to book a driving assessment and information about this will be in the pack that you receive from the City Hall. If you can be flexible about where you take your assessment or you can take a cancellation appointment then this can make this part of the process quicker. You need to see your GP to get a medical certificate. This is a basic medical examination which proves that you are fit and healthy to drive a taxi. When you have your medical certificate, your driving assessment and your DBS, you need to take these to the City Hall as soon as possible. These can be dropped off or posted. You don't need to make an appointment. You'll then be issued with a three-month prov provisional license and you can then start to drive a private hire vehicle. If your DBS is showing issues that mean you will need to get to a committee meeting to explain your circumstances, then please get this to Norwich City Council straight away as it can take up to six weeks for you to have an appointment at a committee meeting. Before the end of the three month provisional period, you need to book a knowledge test at the City Hall. This, this test is 10 questions and you need to score 70% in this test to pass. Once you pass the test, you'll be allowed to drive for a whole year with a full license. Once you've started the application process, please contact either Paul Walker or myself, Dave Hall, so we can arrange for you to come back and do our pricing lessons and driver training. A key part of your becoming part of the biggest taxi company in Norfolk. When a new driver is starting with us, it's important that we give them a good induction program so that they can deliver great customer service in line with our high standards. So you're ready to start earning a living at ABC, upholding our values on the street, representing us, as we hope. And we've discussed this before, we know you're a good guy, you're going to do that. We are trying to raise the bar at ABC so that people out there can learn to trust the service we offer. That's why I joined, because you've got high standards. Didn't it? It's a simple formula, be decent to people, but it seems to work. Yeah. Um, so one of the main company goals is customer service, this is key. That's why people yeah. ring back and they're happy to do that. Another important issue is pricing. I mean, the, the, this definitely will be part of your, what we do today, covering, yeah. covering pricing. There are certain, most of the time, we're pricing your job is on the screen for you. I'll show you how to use the data head later okay. as well. Yeah, yeah. It's an in-car PDA device. Uh, well, when do you do a no job? When you say there's no one there and you move on to another job? It, yeah. I mean, sometimes people do turn up when you think they won't. Yeah. You have to know when, when to ring them on your mobile. Don't withhold your number, maybe leave a voicemail message as polite. Yeah. And, and, and this will often get people out in, in your car. 
job done. All you're doing is picking people up, taking them to where they want to go, on time, in a clean car, presentably dressed, and then the job, then the service is a good one. Indeed. And this is what we've been doing, that's what we're going to go on doing, that's why we grow and we'll go on growing, and then we there's a much safer platform financially for you to base your financial future on. Yeah. You are going to maintain our standards, we're very pleased to welcome you on Thank board. Thank you very much. Thank you.